evening welcome back to the our chemical equilibrium acids and bases in this yesterday we have seen the uh, relation between ka and kb and then strength of acids um, how it is increasing and uh, how the polarity or the strength of the bond and all now today we will see the common ion what is this common ion it is based on the lee shackley principle uh, whenever an ion is added um, there will be a shift in equilibrium we will see with an example that uh, you will come to know you very easily. Acetic acid, weak acid, acetic acid is in equilibrium with water, mm, acetic acid in a water as CH3O minus and H plus. Estate ion and the proton ion, that is in equilibrium. Find um, this is aqueous, acetic acid means H3O plus water. Now, if I am adding a state I am, the, uh, this Ka is already fixed. So, to counter that one, there will be a shift to the left side. State I am how to add? That means, I am adding the sodium state, one more compound like uh, one more salt type. I am adding. Here, yeah, this will be in, uh, in water, or it will be, it will be the state plus sodium plus. This so, this is becoming more in the right side. A state ion is becoming more. Then, to counter that, as per the initial plate principle, there will be a shift into the left side. So, this is also a state, this is also a state. So, this is called a common ion. Because of common ion, uh, to counter that common ion effect, so there will be a shift in uh, equilibrium to, uh, to the left side. So that is very simple common ion effect and uh, most of the time it will be coming into the picture of this one. The next comes to the hydrolysis of salts. Hydro carefully listen, hydrolysis of salts. And uh, how it is affecting the, this thing. Now, how salts are forming? Salts are forming because of the addition of acid plus base. You are getting salt and water. That is generally the equation. How many types of there? Acids and bases. So, there are four types. Strong acid, strong base. Second one is strong acid, weak base. Third one is weak acid, strong base. Fourth one is weak weak. So, there are four types of salts formation. So, acid plus base is the because of the where it is there for. Now, first we will come how and because of this how the pH will affect and what is hydrolysis? Hydrolysis means what? Hydrolysis means the form when salt is formed that will not be in the form of salt as a this one. It will be ionized. It will be hydrolyzed. More precisely, it will be because in the water it is hydrolyzed. That means it will split into the ions and ions will be available. So we'll, I will show you the, how it will be and all. So that is called hydrolysis. Means salt not as the form of salt, it will when it is becoming in the form of ions in the water that is called hydrolysis. In the process of interaction between the water and the cations or anions of both the salts is called the hydrolysis. The process of interaction between water and the cations or ions from the salt is called the hydrolysis. So, which is affecting the pH. Now, for case 1 you take. Uh, strong acid. Strong acid is I am taking as HCl for simple reasons. NaOH I am taking as a strong base. So, you are getting the well, what you are getting? Sodium chloride plus water, salt and water. Sodium chloride will not be as a sodium chloride, it will be hydrolyzed as sodium ion and chloride ion. Water will be water. Now, how it will be affecting the pH? Though it is completely because it is a strong acid and strong base, sodium chloride is called the 
acid coming from salt, strong, strong, which is called a neutral salt. This name is neutral salt and it will not affect pH, no effect because both are same, both are strong, the salt is neutral salt and the further hydrolysis and also I will show you but it will be neutral salt and there will not be any effect on pH. pH will be how much? pH will be 7, 7 only if I am taking the balanced equation and all these things. The case 2 you take. The case 2 strong acid and weak base. Strong acid is same HCl I am taking, weak base is anything I am taking as ammonia in water. This is coming as um, NH4C um, ammonium chloride and water. Okay, ammonium hydroxide you will take, uh, then uh, you will get the um, ammonium chloride and uh, this thing. Okay, ammonium hydroxide you will take for the equation balancing. Now, now the ammonium chloride whatever it is coming it is also getting hydrolyzed and what you are getting NH4 plus Cl minus as hydrolyzed and H2 H2 is H OH minus and H plus yes. so this has this salt is called a it has come from the strong acid and weak base so it this is called acidic salt acidic salt very simple whichever is a strong you have to write, say it is a strong so it is acidic salt, so it's a pH, it will reflect on the pH and the pH will be less than 7. Acidic salt and pH will be less than 7. That is the second one. Third fellow, if you see weak acid plus strong base, that means acidic acid I am taking and strong base is sodium hydroxide if I am taking, that will be nothing but sodium estate plus water. Now it will be getting hydrolyzed as acetic COO minus Na plus H plus OH minus. This is a, a salt of salt of basic salt. Basic salt. Because NaOH will again will form. NaOH will form because of the because of the weak acid. So and it is a basic salt and its pH will be more than 7. Remember, here earlier one is less than 7, acidic salt, this is a um, basic salt, it is a pH is more than 7 pH. Okay. The first one is a strong, strong, so neutral salt. The fourth variety, weak, 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 that is a slightly, uh, sometimes it will be a acidic salt, sometimes it will be a basic salt because it is not completely hydrolyzing, but the clear cut is the, um, that is the, what you call uh, pH equal to 7 plus half pKa minus pKb that will be the solution uh, that pH how it will be <coughs> 7 plus half pKa minus pKb formula so sometimes it will be the negative value sometimes it will be positive value so this will not be a uh, clear cut uh, depends upon the how what you are taking the week week and all these things but the first three are very clear and which affects the um, pH of the solution uh, the salts formation salts will get hydrolyzed when acid and bases are forming uh, so this is the like this so tomorrow we will see some small small uh, um, problems okay thank you tomorrow buffer solutions also we will see